Hey, did you hear? Harry Sims got arrested this morning. They got him for all six murders. We just received the letters of retainment. What, are you serious? Henry's father is paying the retainer fee and all the court costs. I can't believe we're taking this case. I can. He kills six people and then walks. And then we just gotta help him. Isn't that how the justice system works? The guilty go free if they have the resources? And the innocent? What happened to my friend, the idealist? My son gets hit and killed by a drunk driver, whom, by the way, is still walking around free, living his life, while David is dead and buried in a cemetery across town. Man. I can't tell you how sorry I am about David. And that bastard got off. Just a smack on the head. Because he had the money to pay for the best law firm to get them all. So why should we be surprised that a man like Henry Sims, a serial killer, could walk because his daddy pays to get him off? But this time, justice is going to be served. You got to believe that. You think so? Let me tell you something. I no longer believe in the justice system. They have phone calls, text messages, and his DNA were at five of the crime scenes. Due to a technicality, the calls and texts were inadmissible. And there was a lot of DNA at those murder scenes. He confessed. His father claims that he was coerced into claiming those murders. Why are you arguing for this guy? He's a low-life son of a- Because I've settled in my heart, the justice system isn't about the truth. It doesn't care who's guilty or who's innocent. It's about what we can prove. And money. Money can make anyone bend the truth. I could care less who wins this case. Not anymore.